Yo, Snape Rings here, man. Skull and Tribe TV. You know how we do it. That's another story for the day. So, yeah, man. Um, just on my way to town with my wife. <laughs> my child. Just chilling. So, yeah. Today's story is going to be simple. <laughs> Simple. simple. <laughs> it's a simple one today. It's a long one. It's a long, but I'll try and make it short. Hopefully, like less than 15 minutes. So it's a story about my life. Story about how I started doing music. How I got into music. How I got. How I got the name. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> how, um, how I started the music, how I got the name Nabilu, how I got the name Snape Rings, and how um, I started the group Scaling Tribe. So, yeah, that will be today's topic I'm going to talk about today. So, yeah, so I'm um, growing up um, in my household, there's a lot of music going on. We're playing a lot of music. My mom used to play so much music. Um, my dad was into music, but he was into rock music. My mom was into Afrobeat. You know, African African style, you know. Kwaito, if you know Kwaito. It's like local music in South Africa. Um, and yeah, my dad into rock. My brothers and I into hip-hop and local music and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I just realized that I was I had something. Because like when I was singing along and I was, you know, getting inspired and influenced, I was just like, you know, I can do this too, man. Like, I feel like... I feel like I have a talent for this. Let me try. So I just started slowly, slowly um, doing cover songs, singing other people's songs in school concerts um, until I started um, recording my own music. Um, and then um, I did a song called Ring Ring Bantuana, which was in vernacular. So it was in Siswati, in my mom's language. Um, and so everybody liked it and I was performing in schools and clubs and and yeah and they, they that's that's how I got my name Nabilu you know so um so Nabilu just meant it means uh, with white people so um so my brothers and some friends of mine gave me that as my nickname my music nickname saying Nabilu um, because my dad was white, you know, so and we lived in Africa and that, so that's what it means. Um, and then, so after that, I performed in loads of areas, um, uh, events, big events, uh, Fanta events in Swaziland. I really performed a lot of places. I was on the radio and TV, so um, and then, um, so. That's how I was known for Nabilum, you know, because I was doing quite some music, um, mixing it with hip hop, but doing it in, in a different language, like, you know, my mom's language, Siswati. Um, and then, yeah, so, and then, and then me and my friends came together, and um, I was like, yeah, I need to make a group, right? I need to have a group, I need to create a group. Because they wanted to sing, they wanted to do music with me, so we decided we are going to do a group, so I came about with the name Skull and Tribe. It's a funny story how I came about with that name. Because um, we were in class, you know, teacher had given us notes. Instead of writing notes, I was just writing lyrics, and I was just trying to find the name of the group. <laughs> and so it was a history class, and so I was going through the history books, trying to find like something cool um, and so that's how Skull and Tribe was born and basically Skull and Tribe just means um, hidden you know different you know peculiar something that is different something that the world doesn't understand and I guess that's why Skull and Tribe is the way it is right now um, so yeah man so Skull and Tribe was a group of about four four people me Zolaiphobia Lil Bones Zesta yeah, man, and then um, as time went by, um, you know the rest of the story, how um, I added a few more members to it. Um, 
Bryce Med Mike, Flomo, but and uh, Ixa Beho or well, Last Night now in the future. But back in the past that's how it started. So yeah, so we performed here and there. And yeah, that's about it, isn't it? Cross Talent Tribe. And then Snake Rings, Snake Rings started with my brother actually. Um he was like nah bear and then he was like nah snape and then he was like nah snape brings you ring you make a noise you make sound making music man you ring it i was like okay all right bro and then so that's how it was, that was my brother carl actually r.i.p carl carl moore rest in peace bro um he literally he literally put it out to me and then uh, years later i realized like because i tried to like when I, when I became a Christian, so I tried to like fit it in and just try make it work with my ministry. Like, so I realized like Snape is like to take something, to take what's yours. You know, so you take your destiny, you take what's yours, you take a rightful place in God, you make a sound, rings, you ring, like ringtone, you make noise. You want, you want some help? Do you want some help? Yeah, so that's how it started, man. So yeah, so yeah, that's uh, that's what, how I did it, man. So that's how I started being Nabilum, just neighborings and Skull and Tribe. And I was listening to a lot of music, man. I used to listen to, to be honest, the first one I listened to was Fuji's, um, Lauren Hill. Um, I was listening to Tupac, B.I.G. Um, I was listening to Born Thugs and Harmony, you know, listening to a lot of hip hop, old school hip hop now when I was growing up. So, yeah, man. Oh, good. Um, are we just stuck here for a bit? Yeah, so it's all good, man. So, yeah. And then after a while, I listened to like um, G Unit, Dr. Dre. I was listening to 50 Cent. I was listening to, I seem to, uh, I seem to a bit of Nas. I seem to Lost Boys, Mr. Chicks. <laughs> yeah, man. So that's how I got inspired to make music. And I was listening to a lot of local music as well, like uh, South African quieter music. At the time, that's what it was called. Um, so yeah man, that's how I got inspired to start music and I've worked with uh, Peace 2, anybody knows Peace 2, it's a local group in Swaziland, worked with DJ DD Cool, got invited by DJ Bones Connection to the radio station, DJ Masu Masu, RIP DJ Masu Masu, rest in peace. Um, I got invited by a lot of people, the newspaper and stuff, um, so yeah I did, I did have a buzz, I did create a buzz back in the day coming up um, doing secular music and then and then um and then i just went through some few tragedies and you know stuff like that like my mom passed away then that's where i just decided you know i want to try and find about life about god you know and so that's how my journey as a christian began you know that's how um i end up being neighborings today doing christian music and that's another story for another day. But yeah, hope you enjoy that one. And hope it was clear. Sorry about the noise and all that. So yeah, see you later. Peace. Shall we say peace? <laughs> <laughs>